Hello, hello, lovely friends. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. Today's video, guys, is going to be the first one in a new series that I've decided to do. Or, I suppose I shouldn't really call it a series. It's just a new idea for some videos that I decided I'm going to start doing on my channel. So, as you probably saw from the title of this video, this video is called Whip Parade. Now, I have generally... Well, not generally, actually. I have never made a video where I have shared with you guys my whips. But I was thinking about it this past weekend, and I just realized, you know, I do do quite a fair number of unboxings on my channel, like lots of YouTubers do. And then I thought to myself, I wonder if you guys ever think about those unboxings, or where I am, or how far I've gotten or, you know, those type of things. And I thought, well, maybe every now and then I should do a whip parade. Now, the other reason I thought I should do that is because I am someone who tends to work on between five and seven canvases at one time. Now, for some of you, you probably think, oh, that's totally crazy. I could never do that. <laughs> and my only answer to that is, well, each to their own, I suppose. I mean, I do know that there are people who like to work on one project at a time and no more than one. But I do also know there are lots of people that will have, for example, two or three on the go at a time. Because a lot of people like to alternate, for example, between working on a square drill painting and working on a round drill painting. So a lot of people will have two kitted up so that they can do that. Other people like to have two kitted up because they like to work between a confetti heavy canvas. And when that gets too much for them, then they move to their more color blocking canvas. So, you know, like I say, each to their own. Everybody does it slightly differently. For me, because I've been diamond painting for such a long time, probably three going on four years now, I like to have a lot of kits kitted up at one time because I swap between them, I move between them, and then it stops me from getting bored. So, guys, this video is, like I say, the first one that I'm doing where I'm going to show you my current whips. I do have six of them at the moment. I recently finished the seventh, so <laughs> we are now down to six. What I want to do is just show you what I'm working on, how far I've gotten with them, because I think it's important to note when you guys see unboxings on my channel, I am, am doing those unboxings because I plan on working on the kits. So a lot of YouTubers will do unboxings as they get their kits in, which means that they literally have hundreds of unboxings of, on their channel, but very few post reviews. I'm not that. I will do unboxings when I genuinely plan on kitting the kit up and working on it. So I tend to have a better balance between unboxings and post reviews. That said, there is the odd occasion where I will do an unboxing and then for some reason, maybe the canvas just isn't speaking to me or whatever the reason is, I decide that I'm not going to kit it up. But for 90% of my unboxing videos, you guys can expect a post review video in the next few months after that unboxing because it does mean I'm going to work on it. So that is why... I've decided to show you my progress on some of these because you would have seen unboxings for all of these. Now, the last thing I want to say is there is one kit that this past weekend I made the decision to, what is the word? Unkit. <laughs> I suppose it's not unkit. I suppose it's more to kit down. So I had Nine Lives by Christopher Lavelle kitted up and I was about a third of the way through that one. It had been kitted up since last year, and for some reason, don't ask me why, I just cannot bring myself to work on it. I just, oh, I love the art. I love the artist. I've got a lot from Christopher Lavelle, but it's just not speaking to me. I just wasn't enjoying it. It's been sitting in my stash, kitted up, and it's basically, the problem was that it was using a storage container. And I actually would rather have that storage container to kit up other canvases that I want to work on. So basically that one was just key. Um, I just kitted down that kit this past weekend. 
So yes, I now have a spare storage container, which means <laughs> another kit is probably going to be kitted up soon. But anyway, guys, I'm sorry that was quite a lengthy introduction, but I did want to say all of that just in this first video so that you know where I'm coming from. Right, so now, guys, let's take a look at my whoops. What I've decided to do is to show them in the order that I kitted them up furthest away, if that makes sense. So the first canvas you're going to see here, I kitted up and started working on on the 10th of April. <laughs> so let me show you this one, guys. Let's kick off the video with this lovely piece. Right. So again, as I always do, let me just pan from the top to the bottom. Um, just a thing to note with the series, I am not going to go into detail about these canvases because I don't want to ruin the post reviews. So this video is really just, the point of it is to show you the canvas, to show you what progress I've made, and maybe I will make one or two comments about the canvas, but I'm not going to do more than that. Okay, so I will obviously give stats on all of these. This one is a full drill crystal painting in the size 45 by 60 centimeters with round drills. I bought it from an AliExpress store called Yamido. There's the name over there. Now, okay, wait, let me tell you about the colors. It comes with 32 colors. Now, I had never worked on a crystal drill canvas. I have not even done a partial. I am not someone who will ever work on partial canvases. So when I saw that this store had a full crystal canvas range, I decided to order one. But this piece of art is called Hearts, and I recognized it um, as belonging to a specific artist. Now, as you know, with AliExpress stores, when you buy from their store, a lot of that art is going to be stolen art. So I obviously wasn't comfortable with that. But because I know this artist, his name is actually Yuri Uda. Um, I contacted him. I found a way of contacting him. I contacted him. If you guys are interested in all of that information, please check out my unboxing video. Go to my playlist and find my unboxings playlist and you will find this unboxing there. And there I talk about how you can track down an artist or how I did with this specific canvas, what I said to him, what he said to me, etc, etc. So basically, this was a canvas where I got his consent to buy it from the store. So that is very important for you all to know. This piece, if you are interested in it and you find it in the store, is not legally licensed. Please contact the artist and he will allow you to use it because his website actually allows that he's got a section there where he speaks about that but i'm not going to go into all of that here it's it is set out in my unboxing video right guys so as you can see i have worked on this bottom section pretty much one row halfway through another row and i had started on this third square i'm not sure why this one is taking me so long I just haven't had the will to work on it I think it's because it is very very confetti heavy um, can you see those symbols there like what you might think is going to be a solid color over here for example have a look at that their U's their A's their ones um, their Z's their G's it's like the whole canvas is like this just immensely confetti heavy um, and yeah and I don't know why else because now that I'm looking at it I really like like look how these crystals are sparkling you guys like you know they do just give a completely different vibe and feel to normal drills so yeah this is the progress I've made with this one as you can see if I take it like this I still have a lot to do um, it's only really very little of this canvas that I've gotten done but that is my first whip and this one like I say started in April. <laughs> um, once I finished it, it will form part of my AliExpress showdown series and looking at it now, I really do need to make an effort to, to, to work on this one. Right gang, then ta-da, my next whip is on your screen now. This is a Dreamer Designs canvas. Just to show you how I'm going to show it to you because it's so huge, there is, oh where's the top? <laughs> there is the top. This is where I've gotten up to because um, I started at the bottom. But as you can see here, this canvas is rolled up. 
because of the size of it I have rolled it over can you see there a foam roller inside there and then I've used bulldog clips just to clip it on the ends you know that's the other end there so I didn't want to unroll and unravel this whole thing but basically what I can show you is obviously I started at the bottom and this has all been rolled up and so I don't have all that much left let's just get it to about there so just quickly to give you some stats this is from Dreamer Designs the artist is Curtis Reikovich the piece is called Mariposa it is one of his damsels um, it comes with 66 colors and a total of, sorry, I'm just counting here, two, four, six ABs. So this one I've really enjoyed working on. You guys know that I have had some mixed results with Dreamer Designs and their squares. And the same sort of applied here. But as the glue is drying, these squares are pulling together quite nicely. So if you just have a look at a section here with some lighter colors, you can see that it actually doesn't look too bad. It actually looks quite nice. Sometimes a bit difficult to get the line straight because at the time that you're putting the drills down, there is a little bit of gapping. But look here in the darker brown section, it's really looking good. So overall, guys, really enjoying this piece. Like I say, if I just pull it down, you can see that's pretty much what I've got left to do is in terms of how I section the canvas off, it's pretty much three rows, one two three and those blocks are fairly small so yeah hopefully i can get this one done in the next month or two right guys then the next whip that i want to share with you this is whip number three this one i started on the 13th of august this is a custom from ever moment on aliexpress those of you who have been with me for a while know how i feel about that store my number one favorite store probably tiny centimeters above diamond art club <laughs> so diamond art club and ever moment are indeed my favorite stores i design a lot of my own ai art and um, i send that to ever moment and have customs made obviously i can't have customs made um, over at diamond art club they don't work that way so i pretty much go to diamond art club for their normal releases every saturday and i buy a lot from them and then for my customs i pretty much use ever moment so guys, let me show you this piece. This is obviously an AI piece of art that I designed. I decided to call this one Darkness Blooms. And as I pull it down, look how beautifully it's turning out. I am probably about half, halfway through this one. So that is the top section that I haven't yet done. So I'm a tiny bit more than half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put onto the screen the section that I have gotten through. So that's, like I say, taking it to about halfway. So the stats on this piece, like I said, I've called it Darkness Blooms. It comes from Ever Moment. The size is a 50 by 60. It's a square drill canvas. It has 38 colors and no ABs. I did not request any ABs. And like I said, I started this one on the 13th of August. I am, as always, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> I mean to say hopelessly in love with this piece, how it's working up. Just these square drills. Oh, guys, you know, me and my ever moment squares, just look at those squares. Look at the shimmer, but more importantly, look at how these squares fit together. Not a single gap. And even though there is no gapping, this is absolutely smooth. Not a single pop drill. Um, I can tell you, and I will go into more detail when I do my post review, these drills are so tight, especially the 310s. Whoa. I was convinced there would have to be popping because the drills are so tight, but yet there's no popping. Absolutely smooth with no gapping. So, I mean, guys, I'm going to leave that there. I will obviously do a full post review once I'm finished with this one, but I just wanted to show you, isn't this one turning out to be absolutely stunning? The bright colors juxtaposed on this dark background. Oh, hello. Yes, please. I'm here for it. Then next up is a stunning piece that needs very little introduction because you guys all voted for this one on my YouTube channel. 
I wasn't sure between two canvases which one I wanted to work on first and I put up a poll and you guys voted for this wonderful Polani from Diamond Art Club. So let me just basically, you know, that's the bottom, that's the side, that's the top <laughs> over there. And then obviously on this side, the bits I still have to get to. So for now, let me just leave it on the screen like that while I give you some stats. So like I said, this one is called Polani, released by Diamond Art Club. The artist is Micah Jelena. The size, 76 times 51 centimeters. It comes with a total of 39 colors and two ABs. I started this one on the 16th of August. So with this one, I'm also about halfway through, guys, I would say, maybe a tiny bit past halfway. Yesterday, actually, I came to section off some more, um, or the last, you know, half, just less than half. And unfortunately, the plastic cover was tearing. So I got fed up with it, and I just took the whole plastic cover off and put down this release paper. So, you know, this is the bit I've done, obviously, and this is what I still have to do. So like I mentioned already, just over half. Now, this one has been an absolute joy. Sorry, I think I didn't tell you guys that this is a round, round drill diamond painting. And the colors. That is what I'm going to say about this one. These greens and blues with the you know, oranges in the eye and the nose. I mean, these colors are just me. They are just 100% me. I'm also loving the use of the ABs. There are some orange ABs in the eye, white ABs right in the middle, there are ABs around the nose, and then all of the whiskers. The whiskers are white ABs, and I am just loving every minute of this canvas. <laughs> um, I took a break from it recently, even though I'm loving it, just to work on well, as you can see, some of my others, but I'm going to come back to this one shortly. And so this one will definitely be finished, guys, probably within the next month or so. Right. And then whip number five is my entry for this year's Drills and Chills event. This one is called Moonlight Bride by Diamond Art Club. And the artist is Anne Julie Aubrey. It just slipped off my mind for a second and I had to check my notes. <laughs> anyway, this this kit is what I think it's um Katie over at Diamonds and Washi who always talks about having a rainy day kit. Well, this kit is and was a rainy day kit for me. I had it in my stash for some time and I just didn't want to work on it because I was loving it that much <laughs> that I just wanted to keep it in my stash and not work on it. But obviously, that's very silly as well. <laughs> what if I got hit by a bus tomorrow and then I've got all my favorite diamond paintings in my stash? <laughs> so I have decided to whip it out and to work on it for drills and chills. So just to give you a quick bit more of a pan while I give you some more stats. So this is a round drill diamond painting in the size 51 by 71 centimeters. It comes with a total of 29 colors and there are three ABs, but there are also three special drills and I will show those to you in a minute. So basically I haven't been working on this one for long. I've only got this bottom section done. So basically one row and almost a second row. Over here, I had started working on it. I've done sort of this side and just need to do this side of that square. But let me show you, for example, can you guys see some of these special drills? Look at these huge, massive special drills there. Oops, sorry. Aren't those just gorgeous? <laughs> I think they're stunning. And then there's another one. Hold on a second. There was a white one, which I just placed recently over there. A big sort of pearl. And then I can also tell you that there are lots of ABs. They have been used. Maybe you can see the, the white and the blue ABs just pretty much make up this entire butterfly in the front here. So this is pretty much a butterfly in, in the front, but it's obviously sort of intentionally out of focus um, it's part of the the artwork for it to look like that so I am loving working on this one you guys really really loving it the one thing I do want to do and Tracy if you are watching this is thanks to you there are some butterflies flying 
in front of her and in front of her dress but her dress is white and the butterflies are also white so they don't stand out all that clearly let me see if i can show you on the image itself this is for my logbook here you can clearly see a butterfly above my finger and there as well and then there are little ones obviously flying around her but these two in her dress I've seen this diamond painting completed and I thought that those butterflies weren't all that clear. So what I think I want to do is I am going to make these butterflies and maybe some of these smaller ones around her in a light pink. I'm going to see if I have a light pink AB and I'm going to see what it will look like if I change those butterflies to pink just so that they become a little bit more obvious. But I'm not someone who generally does a lot of my own changes to canvases, so I am a little bit nervous about it. But that said, I mean, let me just try and see what happens. Other than that, I'm loving on uh, working on this one, you guys. I think it's a perfect entry for, for drills and chills. And like I say, it's only the bottom section here that I've gotten done so far. This one I started only on the 8th of September, and it has to be finished by the end of October, so... You guys can expect a post review as soon as I get this one done. And then to wrap up this video, you guys, here is my last piece, my most recently kitted up piece. I actually kitted this one up on this past weekend, the weekend that has just gone past. And this one is called Floral Kutsu Kitsuni, I think. Floral Kitsuni. The artist is Venera, and this one was released by... Um, the one with the diamond art. So basically this comes in a size 50 times 60. It is a round drill diamond painting. It comes with 40 colors and it has a total of two ABs. So as always, I'm just pushing it up and down for you and then I'm going to show you how far I got, which is not far at all. <laughs> So basically, this is the first row right at the bottom, but just bear in mind, I only just kitted this one up. So I only managed to do that little corner, which I did last night in front of the TV on, you know, on the weekend. So what can I say so far? Not a lot. I love the look of the image. The quality of the canvas is amazing, soft, velvety, all of that. I've picked up on a couple of issues and obviously I will go into that more in my post review. The first thing is, what I'm gathering from the one with the diamond art is when you buy their canvases, you can take your multi-places and throw them in the dustbin. <laughs> these canvases are so, so heavy, heavily, let me say that, confetti. I basically took hours just to do this section because there must have been, I don't know, over 30 of the colors just in this section. I really had little use for a multi-placer. I was single placing all the time and the confetti was extreme. Over and above that, I did experience and am experiencing a few issues with the clarity of the symbols. They are not as clear to me as I would like. I'm having to strain a little bit at times. You may be able to see here um, you know, there are sections where there are dark backgrounds and then the printing is also done in black and that becomes very, very difficult to see. You know, when the, when the symbols are very clear, you look down at your canvas and you see them easily. That was not the case here. Some were fine, but some I really had to take a good look and a bit of a squint. So, I mean, those are my initial reactions, but... I can see that this is, I think this has the potential for turning out really stunningly because just looking at this corner, I love it already. What the process of working on it is going to be exactly, I'm not too sure. I'm hoping it's going to be okay because Venera is one of my favorite artists and I love her stuff. I would like to order more, but in order to order, in order to order more, I need the enjoyment factor to be there so yes guys i will definitely be working on this one um this one i can see i will need to take regular breaks because of the amount of confetti so i don't think this one will be finished anytime soon but definitely keep your eye on my channel for my post review 
you know, as I say, I only just managed to do this small little section in basically a whole evening. So, so we will see how it goes. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This pretty much wraps up my whip parade. I enjoyed doing this one. I actually think this is quite fun to show you guys what I'm working on, how far I am, and just to give you some initial thoughts. Um, hopefully I've tempted some of you to stick around to watch the full post reviews where I go into detail about obviously lots of things and my complete and total experience. As always, to you, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You chose to spend your time with me today, for which I am very grateful. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up so that I know it's content that you guys are enjoying. And if you haven't yet subscribed, come on, guys, please subscribe. I'm trying very hard to get up to the thousand subscriber mark, just so that I know I'm making content that you guys are enjoying and that you like to watch. Other than that, happy diamond painting, friends. Bye.